Hello everyone, this is Anthony here, the owner of clevergizmos.com, and in this video I want to go over the sample videos, which you can see on the pitch page of the Clever YouTube plugin. So to start off, let's go ahead and look at sample number one. So there are several Clever YouTube plugin features to notice on sample number one. Um, originally, you want to notice that we have a semi-translucent play button here that's placed above this animated GIF image. If you don't know what an animated GIF image is, it's just an image that is animated. It's a actual clip from a movie that somebody has converted to a moving image and saved as a GIF file. GIF files are unique because they can actually hold uh, simple animations. So that's all that's going on here in the background with the uh, Pantene hairstylist here and you can see it's running this animated GIF loop. These are also called cinemagraphs sometimes. But the point here is to show you that the Clever YouTube plugin can put any image you want here as the video face of your YouTube video. And what you'll also notice is here, you'll notice that the button is rocking gently back and forth. And that's just a motion effect trick that is supposed to hopefully catch the user's eye and get him to click your video. You can see we mentioned this effect right here. And right now I'll go ahead and start the video and I think I'll zoom to, well you can see these two links here which allow you to zoom around the video. This is 15 seconds now. We can also zoom to the end of the video here. And when the video actually comes to an end you'll notice this email uh, opt-in box and this is just to show you that the Clever YouTube plugin can display any sort of HTML or JavaScript after your video ends. So if you use an email service like Aweber or like MailChimp then you would insert your HTML or JavaScript code into the Clever YouTube plugin and the opt-in box would show right when the video is done playing. So let's go ahead and look at our next sample here, sample two. Now this is an interesting sample because here we have an MP4 video placed atop our actual YouTube video. This is a MP4 video from the company Magic Leap uh, Studios. They make virtual reality glasses and they're showcasing here a brief introductory video of their product. So I've placed that video over their actual YouTube demonstration. So when I click the play button, you'll notice that the actual YouTube video will start and now we're actually looking at the Magic Leap Studios video itself. So you can see what's happening here. We'll just refresh this page. We have a custom blue button and this button has a motion effect that allows it to move up and down on the video player. And the video player itself is also showing this blue animated sonar effect which is emanating from the middle of the video player and we have this custom border with a shadow around the actual video player. So all of these elements, they're all listed up here as well, all these elements are actually part of the Clever YouTube plugin and only made possible uh, by the Clever YouTube plugin. So this is an interesting example of a video on top of a video. Let's go ahead and look at the next sample. Sample three, we have a similar effect with the same blue sonar here. We also have a different custom play button. And this sample is unique because we have this descriptive paragraph along the bottom of the video. So the Clever YouTube plugin allows you to put this semi-translucent border on the top or on the bottom of the video. You can see in this sample, we have it here on the bottom. And you can also put any sort of text or styled text in the actual video content itself. And I can scroll down here and we can see two little videos of a similar aquarium. And again, this just shows you that you can actually change the color to this magenta or purple color. And in this video here, we have a descriptive paragraph and this one has a, an orange color. Uh, but again, you'll notice that in the bottom two videos, it's uh, on the top and in the top video the paragraph is along the bottom so you can do either the top or the bottom in the Clever YouTube plugin. So that's a nice example of descriptive paragraphs in the Clever YouTube plugin. 
Sample four is the same sample from the Keyword Researcher pitch page. So you can see this is similar to sample two. We have a video, an MP4 video on top of a YouTube video. And there are many of the same features going on here. You can see we have this play button which moves up and down. This uh, mascot girl here is a clip and it's a seamlessly looping MP4 video which also has my product text in the actual video itself. And so when you put all these items together, you have a pretty nice um, marketing video before your, your video even actually starts. And then when I play the video, of course the MP4 goes away and then the video itself starts. And one thing you'll also notice is that when I get to the end of the video, then you can see that I have my call to action here. And then in sample five, we're just showing some animated GIFs, also called cinemagraphs. These are just moving images, uh, just as we saw in sample one. So we just have six animated GIFs here, just showing you the potential of how you could put animated images on top of YouTube videos. And also you'll notice that the buttons themselves have a, a slight rocking motion. Again, this is a jQuery effect that's available in the Clever YouTube plugin. In the next sample, this is the sample from Pirates of the Caribbean. So we're showing a very high definition image here of uh, Jack Sparrow and the Pirates of the Caribbean logo. Now this is the sort of image that you could never get this level of quality if you only used YouTube. And this becomes quite apparent if you scroll up and look at our comparison image. So on the bottom, we have an actual image that I drew for my video in Photoshop. And on the top, we can see what the image looks like after it goes to YouTube. And this might not be too apparent in your video right now, since you're just watching a video of my screen. But if you look at the fragmentation in the YouTube image, then it's actually quite evident. And you can see the, the low quality, the down sampling that YouTube does to images after you upload them. So this was the uh, inspiration to show the Pirates, of the, the Pirates of the Caribbean sample here, just so you can see what a very high quality, high definition artsy image looks like um, with the Clever YouTube plugin. You couldn't get this sort of really, really, really high precise quality if you were going to upload the same image to YouTube. It would come out uh, very fragmented. And the next video, we're showing a couple videos from the cartoon, the famous YouTube cartoon called Simon's Cat. So in this video, you want to notice that there's actually three YouTube players here embedded in an HTML table. One, two, three. And also you'll notice that we have these animated hearts coming out from under the play button. And again, this is just an effect in the Clever YouTube plugin. And if I were to actually play one of these movies, then you can see that the YouTube player it st itself starts from under the image. And this is again, just showing you the power of placing YouTube players wherever you want and sticking the embedded players inside an actual HTML table. In sample number eight, we have pretty much the same thing, except this sample features a custom border. This is a border that I drew, and it's actually an animated GIF that's been placed around the image. So when I actually press the play button, or before I press the play button, you can see the image itself right here um, pulsing because it's an animated GIF that's been placed inside a table with our waterfall image. And then when I click the play button itself, the high resolution image goes away and the actual YouTube player starts showing the video. So here again, we're showing the power of the Clever YouTube plugin and the ability to put in high definition images in and around your YouTube video. We have a similar thing at sample nine. We just have some eye candies, some pretty images placed atop our YouTube video with a translucent play button. In uh, the Clever YouTube plugin, you can control how transparent your play button is going to be. And sample 10 is interesting because you can see right when I opened the web page, the actual video has already started 
playing. So this is an example of a YouTube video that has been set to autoplay. So autoplay is a feature that is sometimes used on marketing videos. Sometimes you'll go to a website and you'll see the video start playing as soon as you arrive at the website. I don't use it a lot myself, but it is very, very common in marketing. Uh, sample number 11 is interesting because you'll notice that the closed captions have been turned on automatically. Closed captions, also called subtitles, these are just the little words that you can have appear at the bottom of your YouTube video. And the reason why this was important to me is because I have a lot of international customers. And so sometimes it's not apparent to people that your video actually has subtitles or a video script that's been uploaded. So for some of my videos, I do upload a complete polished video script. And so particularly for people who are from a non-English speaking country, it's really valuable for them to have a complete set of subtitles here along the bottom in case they have trouble understanding my accent or in case I talk too fast or whatever. So with the Clever YouTube plugin, you can turn the subtitles, the captions on by default. And in the next sample, sample 12, we're, we're showing two more popular cartoons on the internet. And when I actually click on one of the samples, you'll notice that the cartoon is in a pop-up window. And the pop-up window is sometimes used on various websites for various reasons. I don't use them that much, but you can create some really neat displays with pop-up windows and they're valuable because you don't have to actually take up the entire piece of web state real estate just for um, to play one video you can actually just pop out your videos just by clicking on all of the the links here in our sample so lots of interesting stuff there sample 13 has again a high definition image from the tv show game of thrones and this is um, a really, really nice high quality photography image that's been placed atop the YouTube player. And another thing you'll notice is that this YouTube player is actually responsive. And that means that it responds to the width of my website. So this will be a little bit tricky to show you here, but you'll notice that as I reduce the width of my browser, you'll notice that my video width is also changing and again that is called responsive web design because the player width the YouTube video player width is responding to the width of my website to try to give you the maximal viewing quality or the maximal viewing size that the person's website allows that user to view at any given time so of course if I click the play button then the Game of Thrones video will start You'll also notice that it's starting in a high definition setting here. I'll pause it so you can see. We're starting at 720p high definition mode for our YouTube video. And again, you can specify the quality level that you want YouTube to use in the Clever YouTube plugin. Now in sample 14, we are showing here an animated GIF placed on a YouTube video and again we have our time links here on the right and these are showing the the famous people that are listed in the famous Apple commercial so you'll notice that as the commercial starts playing then the person itself will highlight here you can see in seven seconds they're showing Bob Dylan at 10 seconds they're showing Martin Luther King Jr. and at 14 seconds they're showing Richard Branson so the Clever YouTube plugin will examine the video player and when it sees this particular time, uh, the time itself, the link will light up showing you which particular person you're looking at. And of course you can zoom around the video by clicking it with your mouse as well. And then in sample 15, we're showing a similar sample with some of the features we've already covered. We have the custom red button, the animated sonar, and we have some time links that allow you to scroll to different parts of the video. And you also notice that at the end we have a custom image which is set to play when the video is done playing. The image will show. And this is just a quick call to action image I made that says 
buy me today for the robot ed 209 toy but just this, this is just to show you that you can put any image uh, to play at the end of your video as well as at the start of your video and then in our last sample sample 16 this sample took a long time to make because I actually had to go into the Google 2012 Zeitgeist video and I had to try to frame by frame I tried to see every scene that Google is showing in this uh, video and um, I don't know there's about a couple hundred frames here maybe a hundred frames here so that took a while but again just like in our previous video as the video is playing then the actual frame setting or theme of that video will light up. So you can see this is the video of James Cameron and then we have a launch of SpaceX here and then a couple papers. This is the Higgs boson paper that's going to come up there. So again this sample is just meant to display the power of jumping around to various points in your YouTube video and again this is all made possible by the Clever YouTube plugin. So those are the 16 samples that are available on the Clever YouTube plugin website. So I'd encourage you to take a look at them and play with them if you get a chance. And if you have any questions, then email me via the contact page. Thanks for watching.